and welcome back to the channel. So I have a Voodoo Vixen haul for you. But yeah, I was super excited. I'm not gonna give anything away, so we'll just get straight into the video. Starting off with what I'm wearing, I really liked this print in the Western style top that they had and they brought it out for Valentine's Day. And they've just released this one, which I find weird because this would have been better for Valentine's Day because of the print. So it was 56.50. I got everything in this video in a size extra extra large, which is a 16. Um, I'll come a bit closer so you can see. This is what it looks like. I think the belt's super cute. I like that it includes these belt loops to keep it in place, but it also fits in the belt loop here. And it's a cute little heart shape because obviously the print has hearts on the stuff. You've got heart buttons. So I do feel like a lot of thought and detail go into the pieces. However, I don't really feel like it's worth the price. The quality is nice. Like this one does feel well made. Um, I don't know if the top style is really me. I don't know, you know, I don't know if this style dress is me, like with the kind of sleeves like that. Um, I like that it cinches me in nicely. The pockets are so cute with like the little heart pockets. And yeah, it doesn't have any stretch to it. It does have a zip at the side that helps you get it on. And overall, like it is a great length. It's a midi dress on me. Like I do feel like it is flattering. Um, I do feel like it does kind of cling to the pouch a little bit. Like there's not like tons of room. It's not super flowy like my normal dress is. But for some reason, like I don't feel like I could pay 56.50 for this dress. Like I've got some really nice other vintage dresses that are worth the price. Next up we have this dress, it's 62 pound 50 guys. And when I pulled this out and I put this on, I was like, who in their right mind is paying that for this dress. Love the style, love the colours. I wanted to try something a little bit different. I will say it's a little bit big on top. It does have pockets at the front and a zip at the back. It's a nice set thick material, like it's super stretchy, but I guess I just weren't expecting it and I don't feel like it's flattering at all. It's very like clingy to this area. Like I don't like that. Um, it's an okay length as well, it's not too bad. I just think the style is not me. I just don't think it's worth this price either. Like. Even if you like it and it's flattering, £62.50 is a lot of money. I can definitely get another dress that I love for that price that is way better quality. Just more me, like, I don't like this dress. <laughs> so we have a little play suit, which I don't normally try. This was £46.50 and I do actually quite like this one. And I think the quality is nice. Again, the price I don't think is too bad. It's like a butterfly hot air balloon print. I wouldn't wear this bra with it. But the only thing is, is like... The straps are so big and when I do stuff, they just like eventually fall down. So I definitely think I maybe could have sized down, but I do feel like it probably wouldn't have fit around like this area. It does have pockets. I like that the shorts are like kind of loose and flowy. They are like stretchy as well. The sleeves are ruffled, which I think is cute. It's a little bit more shorter than what I like and because they're flowy, I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like you'll see up, up them or something. But yeah, overall not too bad. It fits well. The quality is nice. And I do feel like I could probably justify paying the price for this or if I had like a discount on top. Like I, I did actually get 10% off of all of these. So yeah, I do feel like that's a bit more justifiable for this one. It's that we have a dress that I do really like. This is a Las Vegas dress. It was £55. I do feel like the quality is so much thicker. It's nice and like sort of heavy. It does have pockets as well. Again, I feel like I probably could have got away with a 14. And what I like is that I don't like these style tops. I will say it is a bit big. I would probably have to wear like a push-up bra or something because I don't really have the boobs to fill this out. So I feel like a 14, I probably could have got away with. Um, but it is stitched. So we're not going to have like tons of cleavage on show. I hate that when you're like sitting down and it bulges and you see everything. Cinches me in nicely. I think it's such a cute length. Love the style of this. I love the print. Like I am obsessed with the print. But I definitely feel like I could have got away with a 14, but this was the last one left, so I had to snap it up to try it. But yeah, it has a zip at the back, you can adjust the straps. If you're going Vegas, you live in Vegas, like I feel like you need this dress. Like the print is so nice for like the burlesque dancers. It does say Lady Luck and Sin City Las Vegas. Like I love this one. Again, not bad for the price either. I feel like for the quality, I would happily pay that and pay that with a discount. Next up, we have this like novelty sweet dress. So I got this one because I thought it was really fun. It's very me. It does have pockets. Um, it does come with a belt. I'll come a bit closer. Snatches you in nicely. I like that when they come with a belt. Again, it's got the belt loops. The belt feels nice. The top is a little bit big and I do find like this is a little bit scratchy and itchy if it does like come in contact with your skin. So yeah, I definitely feel like a 16 fits well, but I feel like I probably could have got away with a 14 on top. It is a little bit big. It does have pockets and again, it's just flowy. It's like comes below my knees. I don't love the quality. It was 54 pounds. Like it, it is nice. It is like a cotton material. It doesn't have any stretch to it, but I just think it's like very clingy to my pouch area. It's not like as flowy and like wider than I would like so maybe that's more of a me issue but yeah I don't 
don't really love it, I don't really rate it. I think it is cute. And then what I did get to match is the cardigan, which is £36.50, so again, quite pricey, I think. Um, if I come a bit closer, I wanna try and show you guys, but like some of the threading, as you can see, is not really that great. And I feel like if I'm paying that price for a cardigan, I want it in like great condition. Like I want it up to standards. But I also feel like I would want that with whatever I buy because I am paying for the product myself. Size 16, it fits well. It is a really nice, soft, thin cardigan material. Like I don't have any issues with that. And I feel like I would probably pay this price if it's something I really love. Like I feel like the embroidered things make it a little bit more expensive. The buttons are so cute. Like it's got a bit more detail to it, a little bit more thought put into it. And obviously it does have quite big embroidered things on. So I can see why it might be a bit pricier than the one I'm gonna show you afterwards. Um, but yeah, just like little threads coming off. I do feel like if I'm paying that price, I want it in great condition, excellent condition. Like no doubt about it. But I do really like the cardigan. I actually think the cardigans are probably one of the best things they do. So now we have one that I would have thought would have been one of my favorites, but I've got this out of the bag. This is literally cheap Shein quality vibes. I'm really not happy with this, like 56.50 for this dress. And it's some cheap, like thin polyester. Like I could literally go on Shein and get it for like a tenner. I love the print. I love the little sunflower buttons. Like the style of this is really nice, but it's that cheap, thin, horrible polyester material. It does have pockets. It does have a zip to get it done up. And obviously it's a bit more of like a midi dress. It has no stretch to it. Um, I just wouldn't pay the 56.50 for this. It doesn't really cling to this area, which is fine. Um, that's what the back looks like. But yeah, I'm not happy with the quality of this for the price, like very, very disappointed. This I actually love. So I got another cardigan, which I think this is the only thing that I'm gonna keep because I love it that much. And the rest is just, it's not worth my money. It's not doing it for me. But this was £34, obviously I got a discount on top of that. Again, it is a very thin cardigan, but if it's kind of like for spring, summer, you don't really want a thick one. So I don't mind paying that if it's something that I really like. And I really like this one. And I've been after a sunflower cardigan for a while, actually. You could wear it with a dress, but I don't really like the colors together. It does have like bees, but it has these cute little sunflowers. We've got gold buttons. As you can see, it's kind of split a little bit. So I do feel like, Maybe an 18 would have been better, but I don't know if they did that size in. It's a little bit long in the arms, but it's really nice and soft on the skin. So I love this one, fits well. I'll get a lot of use out of this one. So yeah, they're all the pieces I picked up. Overall, I'm not impressed, I'm not happy. I'm actually really disappointed because I was super excited for this parcel and I was super excited to do a haul, but I know quite a lot of it is probably negative, but again, I'm just saying the honest truth. Like, I did kind of feel like, is there any point in me doing this review? But then I want other people to know like the pros and cons of these dresses. I don't feel like they're very plus size friendly. They go from a six to a 16 in most pieces. And I think they've got an 18 in some and they might even extend a little bit in some other pieces. I do feel like they need to be a bit more plus size inclusive. Some of the pieces I don't feel like are true to size. I don't know how they think some of the pieces are worth the prices that they've got on the website. But I do have two dresses from Voodoo Vixen that I love that are really nice quality that I'm super impressed with. So that's why I kind of had a bit more of a high expectation. I will leave the links down below if you do want to check any of them out. I don't really want to recommend anything, but probably the cardigans. I know the other one had a few seams, but like this one is literally perfect. I love this one, so I will recommend this one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review either way. Let me know what else you'd love to see, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.